So winter's here. <laughs> I'm not ready for it, but it's here. And I'm a little stressed out because our dogs just had puppies and we've been taking care of them a lot. And it's cool. She built a little den under a cedar tree. She has six puppies and she's doing really well. And I kind of built her a little makeshift shelter. She, she built it herself and I just covered it up. But now, I have to insulate the, the water tank with all water in because I'm just worried it's going to... There's nothing worse than running out of water, so... Um, I'm just wrapping it with this insulation, this roll of insulation. It should work out, so we'll see how it goes. What I'm using to attach it to this big old water tank is this double-sided Gorilla Tape. I just got it from Walmart. It's... let's see... It's eight yards, so I don't know. We might run out. Hopefully not. If I run out, we'll figure it out. But yeah, double-sided tape works actually really well. So the double-sided tape, you stick it on, creates vertical lines, and horizontal lines, and diagonal lines, and really just creates some uh, diversity. Just to create a solid grip on it. Um, apparently, when they're few air pockets in between this insulation and the water tank it creates like a little heat pocket and so from what I was reading that's great <laughs> that's great to have a little bubbling um, not too much but it really increases the R value who the heck knows what the fudge that means I don't know what the fuck R values are but I know they indicate better insulation and that's what I'm all about better insulation because the last thing they need is this water freezing like it's gonna keep us going well and Maxine safe and I'm a little worried about Max but she, we're gonna get her food and water and she's gonna do her natural thing in this hos uh, not hospice care. I don't know holistic care over there we got our dog house and she just went went into a cedar tree and just dug a, a little burrow She's using the roots to stay warm. She's like pretty much feeding off the tree to stay warm. It's cool. It's really cool. But yeah, I'm just peeling off the backing. The It's kind of hard. It takes a little bit. I don't really have nails. But yeah, we're getting there. All right, so the top was a little complicated. Um, just talk about airspace, but I, didn't, I don't want that much airspace. So uh, what I did was I cut flat piece and so I cut three little strips so initially what I did was I started with the panel and I decided I'd panel it so I'm going with this panel first and then one more panel and then essentially four panels all around um, and as you know you can't make a square thing into a round thing so I had to cut three stripes up top to take it down and uh, get it nice and flat HVAC tape. This stuff's way better than. Doesn't look as good as the Gorilla tape, but it's easier to work with. Like you could just peel and stick. It's extra sticky. This is, my, this is our water tank. Pretty much ready for winter. Okay, so we finish up. Just gotta tape down all the flaps. Make sure it's windproof, but it should be good for winter.